Hey guys, welcome to Kevis and Films. I'm Kevis. Today I want to walk you through how I calibrate my home theater and optimize it with Odyssey One Evo and generate a unbelievable great sounding home theater. Before I start, a couple of things. This is done via the Odyssey Editor app as well as REW and Obsessive Compulsive Audio's script called Evo One or Odyssey One Evo. The apps are free except for the Odyssey app. That's a $20 app download you can find at the iTunes stores. So one of the important things that I try to follow is as you follow the prompts through the Odyssey Editor, Editor app, you'll connect to your Morantz receiver or Denon receiver and you're going to select your speakers, your layout. I selected on my end a directional Base, meaning that I have two, two subwoofers and it's going to measure each one independently from each other, not a summation of two speakers at one time with the subwoofers. As you go through the prompts, it's going to check your sub level. You want to make sure that the sub level is hitting that green zone right in between, not too low, not too high. And then from there, you're going to be prompted to take measurements. Now, Odyssey gives you a layout. It'll tell you, hey, start here at the main listening position, then go, uh, if you look at the diagram, it looks like they're going maybe two, two or three feet to the right and two or three feet to the left, go in front, go behind. So after a lot of research, a lot of, it, it really depends. If you're really by yourself in the theater and you're mostly there, you really have a sweet spot that's kind of about maybe 20 inches in diameter. So what I have done is, I will take the mic to about he, uh, ear height level and I will take two measurements in that same spot. And you're taking two measurements because sometimes one measurement may be slightly off and it averages as you go through it. So the more measurements you take, the better it's gonna actually yield. So I'll start there, then I'll move it 10 inches to the left. I will move it 10 inches to the right. And then I will move it to 10 inches to the front. Now, in each of those positions, I will take two measurements each. So when I'm done, I've got eight positions or eight different uh, measurements uh, overall. Once, once I'm done getting the measurements, I will take that file, that Odyssey file that they've generated, and instead of sending it to the AVR, in this case, a lot of people could be done. You send it to your AVR, pick a preset, and you're done for the most part. But what you're doing here is that you're actually going to select that file you're going to email it to yourself. You're going to select it. I'm thinking in my case, I'll just email it uh, to my email address and I'll go to my computer and I'm able to download that file. I'm able to extract it with audit with the, uh, with Odyssey one's Evo's script and then import it into REW where it will do a ton of calculations and then export a brand new file, which again, I will send from my, I'll just put it on my email, send it back to my phone. And then from there, uh, download and import into Maltus, uh, into the Odyssey Editor app. And lastly, then I will send it to my AVR and I'll pick a preset, pick one or two, whichever, uh, whichever you like. And, th and that's it. That's all. That's all. It sounds a lot easier than, <laughs> um, it probably sounds a lot harder than it is. It actually pretty quick. So I'm going to show you, um, I'm going to show you how to do it from the computer. So the first thing you're going to want to do is go to YouTube and you're going to find Obsessive Compulsive's um, audio file his channel from there first subscribe hit like and then you're going to go find the a1 evo project or script um, in this case i would take the time so he's, he spends about 25 minutes on this video it really explains the process what exactly happens in the background and it allows you to see uh how you can even customize customize his script which is pretty neat i haven't done it i keep it pretty much standard default and it's worked every time uh, for me. We are gonna go down, we're gonna go ahead and expand this section here. We're gonna, it says here, download A1 Evo. So what I'll do is I'll click on that Google folder and it's gonna bring up his, um, his uh, this is the script, it's the HTML. If you wanna know exactly what's included, he updates it often. So then you're able to come here and see the notes and hey, listen, what changed, what hasn't changed. Um, so in this case, I'm going to click on, I'm going to right click on it. I'm going to download the script. Going to take a second to download. There you go. It is there. I usually like to just grab my folder. 
I like to cut it, get it out of my downloads, and I will bring it to uh, a folder that I've created, in this case, Sound Calibration Script, and I will paste it on there. So that's one thing. The other thing that you're going to need is REW. Um, in this case, you're going to have to go into REW, this it's avnirvana.com threads, REW API dash beta dash releases that that sorry dot one two nine eight one and you're gonna want to click on the latest beta release of REW in this case it is uh, 43 um, updated July 21st so just updated a few days yesterday so you're gonna click that you're gonna download it and then you are going to update your REW if you already have it just updated to the latest beta and from there, it'll prompt you to open it up and it'll be ready for you to open it up. So, so I'm gonna go ahead and click on, there it is. Now in this case, what they're asking you, so you're gonna download um, REW. In this case, I kind of took you already there, but um, he's gonna have a link here if you need to go grab the latest and greatest REW um, beta release. So I am going to upload my calibration, which is that file that I have sent over from my um, my phone that I got over. It's, it's going to ask you, it's going to actually download a couple of things here. In this case, it's going to download a, all right, so it's going to download your, it's basically extra. So at this point, what this is doing, it's extracting the measurements that the Odyssey editor app generated, and it is extracting for REW to be able to do its work. Okay, I'm gonna go back here, so download it all. So these are the extracted measurements. I'm gonna go ahead and cut that out, and I am going to paste it in my uh, sound calibration folder. I, I try to keep everything together. It's usually a lot easier for me to find things. And then I'm also going to grab from the downloads. I should have grabbed it here, sorry. It's the Evo target curve as well. I'm going to cut that. And I'm going to bring it up here. All right. So I'm going to move this off to the side a little bit, guys. Give me a second right here. I'm going to go back to now we're going to open REW. So it's been open. I'm going to go over to Preferences. And I'm going to make sure, I'm going to go to view on the right tab here. And what I do is I make sure based on some of those videos, once you've done this, I've done this quite a few times. Uh, I'm always looking around for his latest update and just making sure that I maybe I'm not missing out on anything. Um, I've been actually very, very happy for the last month. Like I've been using the last, I think mine was 2.3, uh, version 2.3. And it just sounds unbelievable. In this case, this is the latest version. So... I'll go here and make sure that this is set to 300 for the maximum measurements. I'll go to the equalizer tab here and make sure that the filter calculation is not checked in for the drop filters if gain is small. Then you have to come over here to the API. If you don't do this part, it doesn't work because it's not. this will not be able to connect to the script. So you're going to start the server. API is running on port 4735. And then from there, I usually just come up here. You don't have to do this. I do because... I don't have any mics. I don't have any files here. Um, I'm not measuring from here. So I just kind of delete all the files, make sure there's nothing on here. And I usually just minimize that. And then the other thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to come up here to the EQ button. And I am going to click on the target settings. And then here I am going to upload. I'm going to go find the folder um, that I'm working on. I'm going to get to the folder, I'm going to click on the target curve, and I'm going to open it up. You'll see here, this is now going to take this target curve and take the measurements that we've generated from the Odyssey editor app and follow the house curve. In this case, this would be, this is the house curve that I am using here. Subwoofer. Okay. And I am going to minimize this as well. Now, at this point, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to click on the extracted measurements, uh, Control A, and I'm going to drag everything to the folder. Kind of neat. Loads everything up. I'm going to out of the way. Sorry. Loads all the measurements. So every measurement that I took in here has now. So the center channel would have had 
eight, eight points, and then you would have gone to your front left, your front right. So it's, it's a lot of measurements in here. Okay. So once I do that, and I'm not going to, I'm going to leave it here, my SPL and face, and then I'm going to go over to the script. I'm going to leave all the settings default. I'm not going to touch anything on here, down here. I'm going to go ahead and say optimize calibration. The script does not do any boost to your system, to any speakers. Everything is cut, lines it up beautifully to the house curve, and it is cutting. It cuts. It'll tell you exactly what the best crossover. So usually everybody's told, hey, listen, 80 hertz is going to be your typical crossover for your speakers and your subwoofers. Well, in this case, it actually analyzes your speakers with your subwoofer, and it'll tell you, hey, listen, is 80 the best one? Is 90 uh, is 60? Is it 40? So that's the cool thing. You're not really guessing here and just picking a number. It'll tell you exactly what your room thinks the best crossover should be. And understand that at the end of the day, calibration, while important, your ears will be the, the determining factor of whether it sounds great or it doesn't. So when it's done, in this case, it's, it said, hey, Kevin, your center speaker, your front left, front right, 90 hertz. Your left surround at 60 hertz and your rear surrounds at 80 hertz. Your top at 150, or your top front at 150 hertz and your rears at 60 hertz. It's probably a little low. I don't think my, my speakers can actually go that low. In my case, I may just bump that up to 80 hertz uh, on the backside. I don't really need a lot of bass from my Atmos speakers. So, all right, so when it's done, it's gonna shoot out two Two files. I'm gonna come here, I'm gonna grab them. So the way he does this is he'll give you a file if you like to use DEQ, dynamic EQ, and then he'll give you a file if you do not wanna use dynamic EQ. I like just the master file, no DEQ, nothing added. Um, it just sounds incredible. There's no reason for me to do DEQ for the most part. I'm pretty isolated from the house, and I don't necessarily have to turn it really all the way down for me to have to use DQ. That's probably when you would need it. So I'm going to grab these two. I'm going to go back to my folder. Let me just put, I like to put whatever date. That's the master file that I'm going to use. I'm going to take this file, and I'm going to email it to myself, and then I'm going to open up from my phone, and then I'm able to download it into my Odyssey editor app, and from there I'm able to upload it back to uh, my receiver. All right, so let's just look at the subwoofer frequency as an example of what this looks like before and after. Granted, this is what it's anticipating to be. You can always go back and use REW and measure it yourself and compare it. I've done comparisons in multiple times and that frequency response that it anticipates here would be, it's very close. So I feel pretty confident kind of going through it and believing that's probably what it's going to be. But hey, you can double check it yourself. If you have a U-Mic 1 uh, microphone and RW, what you do because you're going to use it for this, you can go back and actually check your measurements. So I am going to bring up here my target curve. That's the first thing you want to see in here. This is the target curve that's going to try to follow. I'm going to look up and see what my subwoofer, original subwoofer, would look like. There's my subwoofer, my original subwoofer measurement. I'm going to go up to 20 to 200. I'm going to go a little bit. Let me go to the right a little bit more. You can see that actually my, my subwoofer still has quite a bit of output at about 12, 12 hertz. I mean, it really digs pretty deep. I'm very happy with those PSA subwoofers that I have. So, but anyways, I'm going to drag this over to the right a little bit so you kind of see a little bit more what it really does. So I'm going to go look and see what is my final subwoofer frequency looks like after Evil One takes care of it. And there it is. I don't know if you can see that. Let me change the color here. If I can change the color, uh, let's make it uh, blue. Actually, no, sorry, I'm, I'll make it green. Maybe you can see this a little better. So, uh, maybe not, I don't know. But you see it kind of hugs that house curve as it goes through. There you have some knolls. That's the room, really where my placement of my seats is. But it really just cuts everything really nice. I could do this 
I could take five hours with a mini USB to get to this, um, or I can do this in about 10 minutes and be done. So I choose this. And from there, enjoy it. You're done. It is. That's what it is. It's been optimized. So you took what was originally Odyssey's first take at, hey, this is the best setting for your room, and you're going to have a script that's more powerful to be able to really generate some good filters, to adapt to a house curve, be able to send that back to your phone, and be able to send it back to your receiver. I'd love to know your thoughts. If you've tried this, what do you think you before and after? Uh, just hearing, Rice, right? Do you remember what is before? You've added it, you've updated your new system, um, you've updated your new file, and I'd love to hear your thoughts on what differences you may have noticed. So, guys, thank you very much for watching this. I know this is probably a little bit long. I didn't mean it to be that long, but I definitely appreciate your time. If you don't mind, if you wouldn't mind liking this video and subscribing, I really appreciate it, and I will catch you on the next one. Thank you.